Right, here we go. The first Bob player we've seen today, Ketai versus Frizen from Poland. Frizen's been playing so well. Even when he's been losing the first couple matches, oh, sorry, the first the first um, rounds, he's able to make the adaptation. Even if he loses the first match, sticks with, he's stuck with Steve the whole way. hasn't bothered with any secondary characters and he's been doing so well. So this is going to be hard for, for Ketai. But um, he, Ketai has done really well as well. He's beaten a lot of strong players today. Let's see what's going to happen. Frizen versus Ketai. Steve versus Bob. He tried to go for a down back 1 plus 2 straight off the bat there. I know it's a high crush. And uh, like I said, Adnan, when he played against Ke uh, Frizen, was doing so well. The problem was that most of Frizen's damage was coming from those um, moves that could be high crushed. So I want to see if Ketai ch decides to go for some of them high crushes moves. But as you see that... Frizen is going for a lot of uh, mids at the moment. Nice down forward two. That is counter hit. Boom. Take it to the wall. Not quite a wall splat. Uh oh, he's ducking. Is he gonna is he gonna stay ducking? Yes, he will. And a good, uh, good punish there by Ketai. Finland versus Poland, man. Boom, 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 boom. Running rings around him. I love that throw, man. That throw is so sick. Probably one of the best throws in the game, just like visually, right? What a step! Can he get a good combo from the back? Yes, good conversion. Down back two, just, just a bit early on that. Good punish. Look at this pressure now by Steve. Looks like Katai just trying to sit back, but gets hit by the running two. Now it's Frizen on the board. Oh, sick! Alex, let me know when, man. I might come, dude. Sounds fun. Boom, boom. Good punish there with a back one, two, 13 frame punisher. Oh, good. Okay, so these guys are just trying to bait stuff out of, the, out of each other right now. Not looking to take any big risks. Oh, good good delay on the string again. Frizen has been so good at that. Oh, oh, he's stuck in. Nice, good block. I think Ketai probably thought that because he's stuck in flicker stance, he wasn't able to block, but he can actually cancel it and block very easily. So, Frizen now one round away. That is guaranteed hit there. Oh, it's dashing in his face. There we go. Finally, the down back 1 plus 2 works. Oosh. Boom. And the back feet to get into the wall. Where's the wall pressure now? Bob at the wall is so scary. Good punish. Hell sweep. And again, what's the, what's the mix-up? Wow, look at the movement by Frizen to put Bob to the wall, but it doesn't matter. Got a bit of a weird wall splat there. Guaranteed hit there again. Nice punish. Perfect. Now, Ketae. Final round. Forward, forward two. Now Bob is one of those characters that has been nerfed a little bit from tag two uh, into T7, but definitely still got what he what he's got. He's a little bit more risky now, but Bob is still a strong character, someone that can really overwhelm you. So let's see if Katia can do that. Nice mix up there. We're seeing it right now. Side step one plus two. Boom. Take it to the wall. Big damage. One more mix up's gonna do it. Oh, but just a little bit early on the down back three. Now he's giving Frizen an opportunity. That oh the get up kick and Katia with the first match. I've seen that happen a lot where people just go for the Okizemi a little bit too early so it doesn't actually hit them when they're getting up. Just got to wait a little bit for the tech roll to come. This is first to three by the way guys so um, still a long way to go. Frizen can definitely make a comeback. I don't think he's going to switch from Steve. Um, he hasn't really been doing that much. He's just been st sticking with Steve the whole, the whole way and I think he's just going to go with Steve the entire way no matter what. Don't know if you guys have seen the infamous Ru Kang seven health sweeps in a row uh, in tournament against one of the best players in France uh, with in red. You know, so if you can hit, if you can, you know, Bob is one of them characters that can, if you really get into your opponent's mind, can be so overwhelming. So if you guys know Devil from Poland, who's who is known to be the best player in Europe for a very very long time, he hasn't really been active so much recently, but he is a Bob main, so. Bob has definitely got the potential to be a strong, strong tournament character. Just as long as you get your your punishing right and you get your pressure into your opponent's head. But as I say, that Frizen really poking away right now gets a quick and easy round on the board. There we go. Oh, nice. I don't know if that was counter hit or not, but it looks like it was. Good combo. Take that close to the wall. Trying to get a wall splat. Ketai doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't bite. Oh, nice mid. And a normal throw. 
Paddock off the Oki didn't work out. Big risk. And Ketai punishes properly. Boom, boom, boom. Nice combo. Oh my god, he's hit him straight out of his rage drive. Oh, big whiff again. Backswing blow. And a forward for two. Hitting, hitting Frizzen out right out of his movement. That was really good. That was a really good comeback, actually, from Katei. Boom. Oosh. And he's like constantly... This has Frizzen's doing really well at the start of the rounds. And here we go. Katei trying to make another comeback. Wow, that's a big chunk of damage. And again, guaranteed down back two. And Frizzen now looking, looking really strong. And the back one again, wow. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind when you get when you block back one is that back one into Flicker doesn't guarantee Steve a mix-up. You can jab him out of a lot of his um, options. But it doesn't matter anyway. Kete puts Frizzen into Rage. Both in Rage now, both wearing the red dress. Good duck! 4-4-2! Four, four, oh my god, hit him right out of the backswing blow and Frizzen! On the board, 1-1. One, one. Now, some people in the chat were saying that they expect Ketaya to switch to Jack uh, if Bob doesn't work out. Now, I don't think Jack is terrible versus Steve. Um, he does have that nice down four and full cash down back one to go under a lot of Steve's highs. Um, definitely an option. Who knows, man? Uh, maybe we haven't seen any Jack players actually today, I don't think. Uh, we saw Tricky from Finland as well. I mean... So many Jack players in Finland, apparently. But uh, Chucky didn't use Jack today. He used uh, Eliza. Ale uh, yeah, so Eliza. So maybe Ketai will choose to uh, use Jack, and that'll be the first time we see Jack today. Imagine that. We haven't actually seen a Jack in tournament now. That's crazy. That's crazy. 2017, no Jack? Really? So who do you guys have winning this, man? Do you think that um, Ketai is going to be able to make the comeback, or do you see Frizen taking this, taking these next two matches? Frizzen, of course, one of the best players. I mean, this guy did wasn't very active during Tekken Tag 2, but um, I definitely heard the name. I knew about him. Um, I guess he was very strong in Tekken 6, um, and maybe even before that. But he has definitely picked up this game again, and his fundamentals haven't gone away. He's still very strong. Looks like he's um, making that comeback. Round one. Fight. We're going back onto the stage. Down one, counter hit. Now, he hasn't decided to switch characters, and I agree. I kind of agree with that, because last match was close. Um, when it's a close match like that, there's no real need to switch characters, unless you really, really think that uh, the character change will do good for you. But nice power crush there. Puts Frizzen in a really uncomfortable position, and Ketai with the first round. Back one. Look at this pressure now. Oh my god, R running rings around him again. Nice throw. He's going to go for it again, that peekaboo. Oh my god. Forward, forward, two. Down, forward, one. Down, forward, one. Take that to the wall, mate. Boom. Oh no, drops the combo. That's that side step. One plus two is safe. Man, that sap move pisses me off, man. That move was like the bane of my existence back in Tag Attack 2, man. It was just so good. And the one plus two throw again. It's not going to be dead, but it's going to be close. One more mix up's going to do it. Wow! What a punish! Down jab. Another down jab. Double KO. Let's go. Double KO. So now, Kete on match point. Mm -mm. Frizzen though. Not phased. Going for this big bad, big boy combo. Delays the last hit for some extra damage there. But Kete answering back. Looks like Frizzen's Oki has gotten killed one too many times now. There's the health. So you haven't seen many of those. Oh my god. Staying on the floor. Doesn't want to deal with the Oki. Uh oh. Counter hit. And another down jab, Frizen. Final round, man. This is so back and forth. 4-4-2. Four, four, back, back two. There we go. The counter hit, but they both got counter hit in that exchange. Down, down four two. Looks like Frizen's trying to keep him out. Doesn't want to get, doesn't want to get hit by that hell sweep. A down four two. Such a good keep out, but wow, wild sending two one. But drops the combo, man. Ketai dropping a lot of combos. Oh my god, steps right around him. Where's the punish? No punish there on the duck two. And the wild sign it for no respect on the down back two. Nice. Ketai 2 1.